This is how I was feeding the pigs for quite a while. It was out of those blue barrels. It'd have about 1,500 pounds of feed in it, and then I'd fill up two of the Home Depot buckets full, and then take the feed over here to the field and dump it in their feeder. That'd have to happen twice a day, every single day. Sometimes they'd get a little bit extra as they continue to grow. They'll need some more feed, a little bit more per feeding. And then one of the big issues is whenever it would rain, all of that area there that's dirt would turn into mud. The pigs would surround you, be covered in mud, and it made it extremely difficult to feed them. So after thinking about it for a while, this is the automated feeder design that I came up with. I wanted something that could hold at least a ton of feed so it wouldn't have to be refilled as often. It would allow more pigs to come up and eat at the same time and they would be able to eat on both sides of it. And this is the design I was able to think of. It has a little bit of eaves to help protect the feed from rain. That way it doesn't just constantly get wet and get all compacted. And Usually the pigs don't want to eat it. Sometimes they will, but I prefer it not getting wet. So under this cover here, there's a actuator which turns a tube and allows the feed to fall down whenever the holes are lined up between the two tubes. In this box here, I have all the electronics. You can see that there is two relays, two sets of two relays, a buck boost converter, and then the Wemos Arduino type microcontroller it has built-in Wi-Fi. I have a latch just to make sure the wind doesn't blow the door open and this is how I fill it up. It's going to have to have more feed put in it pretty soon. They're eating quite a bit now. You can see the battery and the solar panel. It's a little 30 watt solar panel. So the Wemos has a web server running and I'm able to connect to it through my phone and then trigger a feeding. So I'm going to hit cycle feeder, linear actuator will turn the tube in the middle, lines up the holes, and then you can see the little black cylinder there underneath the cover, that's a vibrator. I believe it's originally intended for a salt spreader, so it vibrates the whole feeder and helps the feed flow down. The linear actuator will make a complete extension and the vibrator will vibrate and then it does a retraction and it vibrates again to make sure the timing can never get messed up. That way if it stops mid-stroke for whatever reason, the next time they're fed it'll realign it since the actuator has limit switches built in. All of the pigs hear the vibrator now instead of being scared and running away, they realize that it's feeding time and they run up to eat. had to make covers to protect all the electronics. They like to chew and rub against stuff pretty aggressively. I have a access point mounted on the house. That's that second metal roof in the background, the taller one that's further back. So it's a pretty good distance away and everything's able to connect fine so far. And eventually I'm going to have this on a timer so it will automatically go off at scheduled feeding times.